Hey guys, it's Ninja Bubble 110 today. Welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys at home how to record game audio through the Elgato HD60. And this video is a bit of a follow up video from my last kind of Elgato tutorial, which was a few months ago now. So, um, if you want to, go check that one out first. Link is on an annotation on the screen right now. Or you can check in the description below where you'll find the link for that. So, then you'll know what I'm talking about in this video. So, without further ado, let's do this. So, here we have the Elgato HD60 in all its glory. And you'll need two other things. You'll need a 3.5mm jack to another 3.5mm jack here. And you'll need one of these. And you'll also need a an audio splitter, which uh, I'll show you guys how to use in a minute and how it all fits together in a second. Okay, so here I have the front of my PC and also the Elgato HD60 sitting on top of it. And what I will want to do is take out my headphones from there, and I'll just, just leave them there for the moment. And I would, I'll want to put my 3.5mm splitter, or my audio splitter, and I'll just put it in there. And then that these will be basically what it splits off to. So you want to get the 3.5 millimeter jack to the th other 3.5 millimeter jack, and just plug that in right there. And then you'll locate the um, the input for the audio on here, and then just put it in there. And then voila, that's basically all you have to do for on the hardware side of it. But however, if you want to hear the game audio yourself, you'll have to get your headphones like this bit here, and you want to plug it into the other audio jack here, and then you'll be able to hear the audio yourself, as well as the Elgato, and they'll also record it, which is pretty awesome. Now I'm going to go inside um, the Elgato software and show you guys what you have to do next. So here we are inside the Elgato HD60 software, and for as you can tell already, um, the preview is disabled for inception purposes. Just let's just let's just keep it like that. Okay, so what you want to do from here is locate the hammer and wrench kind of icon up here, which is the kind of the system settings. And what you do is, unfortunately I can't show you necessarily here, but what you want to do is click and tick this box here, which shows with analog audio. And what this will do is allow audio to be passed through into the Elgato and to be recorded with like the your commentary if you have one and things like that. And this is extremely important, otherwise you won't get any audio whatsoever. Um, so yeah, and you can obviously change the preferences here to whatever you want it. And this is basically what um, what I have it kept as for um, most of my videos. And one way to tell whether it's recording the game audio or not, if it's any loud noises in the game you are playing or whatever you're recording, um, you'll kind of see, instead of it being repeated like there is the microphone right now, what you'll see is some kind of general kind of jumps wherever there's really loud noises, just a slight delay after it actually happens. So it's quite simple. Um, so yeah, that's just one simple way of finding out whether it is recording or not. And all of these steps are extremely important in order to record your in-game audio. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this tutorial, and please leave a like if you've enjoyed, and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing at the moment, and for some more tutorials, because more guys are on their way, and also if you have any questions, please leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as simply as I can, or just point you in the right direction if I don't already know the answer, and I often try to do a bit of research before I tell you guys, just in case um, something's outdated, or things like that, so yeah, thanks so much for watching this video guys, and Ninja Bubble 100, out!